Hi, this is Bevelyn from Singing Techniques where you get tips and insights into singing. So in my previous video, I shared two tips on how you can breathe correctly for singing. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can check yourself to make sure you are doing them correctly. And if you don't know how to do it yet, I would highly recommend that you check out my previous video. And if you have, here is how you can check yourself to make sure you're doing them right. Now place one hand on your chest and the other below your belly button and breathe in through your mouth as normally as you can. Now the best way to do this is to place yourself in front of a mirror so that you can adjust yourself if necessary. What you should observe is that when you breathe in and out, your chest and your shoulders should not be rising and falling like this. Or if you see that you are doing this, you can limit these actions by looking at the mirror and adjust yourself accordingly. Now it should be pretty easy to stop your shoulders from moving up and down. But if you see that your chest and belly are moving at the same time, it's highly probable that you are using shallow breathing, which is reflected by the rising and falling of your chest. So why is it important to make sure that your chest doesn't rise and fall when you breathe in and out? If you do that, you will experience a tightness in your chest, especially if you draw in a lot of air or if you try to sing and sustain a long line. But the key to good singing is not to draw in a lot of air. The key to good singing is deep breathing. So check out my previous video. And one very very important thing you need to take note of when you are practicing belly breathing is to make sure that when you breathe in, your belly inflates and when you breathe out, your belly deflates. If you do it the reverse way, I can guarantee that you are using shallow breathing because even if your belly is moving in and out, your chest is moving up and down too, like this. But the correct way should be So does it mean that every time I sing a song, my chest and my shoulders do not rise and fall? Yes. So spend a little time exploring and keep it fun. Do watch out for my next video where I share more tips and insights into singing. And remember to subscribe to this channel if you want your weekly video. And hit the bell if you don't want to miss an episode. See you in the next one.